There's so many instances where I, I get a phone call from someone in the midst of a house rehab and they need my help. They're overwhelmed by the whole, uh, the whole process and they don't know what to do. House rehabs are, are so easy, right? They watch all of those TV shows and you know YouTube videos and you can see a whole house being built in seven days. How can my little house renovation be so, so tough to manage and complete? Oh, my little whippersnapper, I wish that it was so easy. Hollywood is full of dreams and fantasies and if you don't follow certain steps in the renovation process, you will end up on another TV show called Renovation Disasters. The biggest problem that I have found in any house rehab is the lack of preparation and planning before the work actually starts. You need to start with a goal and then a list of what you want to complete it in your renovation. Once you have that list and you identify the items that you want installed or, or renovated, you know, things like the type and color of the carpet, the makes and the models of the new appliances, and how many recessed lights you want over the dining room table. All of this stuff needs to be figured out way before you start calling contractors and getting prices. Once you've got that stuff out, figured out, of, you know, out of the way, then you need to create yourself a, a document called a scope of work. A scope of work lists all of the work within your renovation or rehab and the specifications of the items that you want. This is the most important document that will hold the key to your renovation happiness, as it is the document that everyone refers to when in doubt about the rehab process. You will have the steps of the whole rehab process within this document and the types of products that you want installed. You will have identified everything the contractor will need and who will do which task. Within this document, you will know how long each task is going to take. Of course, there's no point in preparing a schedule if you don't stick to it. This is where your job as the acting general contractor is managing the house uh, renovation, the rehab process. You need to check the contractors are executing the steps that you have outlined and they're on schedule. There will be times when some steps will be changed around while other tasks and steps are, are essential. You want to be careful in changing the essential tasks or steps within the rehab process as the whole pro project timelines will be delayed. As you can see, a lot of problems can be eliminated by proper planning and preparation before a rehab starts. No matter how big or small your renovation is, you should always have a scope of work prepared and have all of your contractors follow it. By doing all of those things, you might avoid a scenario or a cameo appearance on that most popular TV show out there, Renovation Disasters. For more information on house rehabs and real estate investing, visit www.vansturgeon.com to help you in your real estate investment journey.